My brothers and sisters, we're almost at the end of the month of Ramadan. The odd nights have clocked in one after the other. The first thing that you need to know is to abstain from sin. People sin in the month of Ramadan, people sin at night. They do all sorts of things in the nights. They waste their time on social media, whether it's TikTok or Instagram. If you're doing good things, it's different, but they waste their time doing bad things. They dance around, they fool around, they swear, you know, they do all sorts of silly things. You need to know that Allah Almighty wants you at least to begin with to abstain from sin during these blessed days. I mean, if you cannot do a lot of good, the minimum is stay away from bad, leave them. And so anything that is a waste of time, cut it out. Promise Allah to cut out even your bad habits. Subhanallah, you know your bad habits. You know what exactly they are. What's the point of having these 10 nights every Ramadan? And we don't know this might be our last one. Make the intention, oh Allah, help me. I've got this bad habit, help me eradicate it. I am serious about it. If you've only achieved that by the last 10 nights of Ramadan, you are successful. But there is more to it than that. Recite some Quran. Now, many people say, I want to cover the whole Quran in one night. No, don't, don't. There's no merit in that. In fact, you might get a sin because you're going to be whipping through the word of Allah, which is not a good thing to do. Many people say, oh, wow, that sheikh or this person, they read the whole Quran in one night. There is nothing virtuous about it. It is against the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu to do that. Now, if you're memorizing and you're learning and you happen to be reading the Quran and you happen to be reading for 10, 11 hours a day, you may complain. It, alhamdulillah. But if you're sitting with recitation of the Quran or you're doing Salat al Taraweeh, don't attempt to complete it in one night. It's against the Sunnah. You may earn a sin because how can you earn a reward for having read so fast that you've eaten some of the words of the Quran and you have not adopted the rules and regulations of recitation of the Quran? You should beautify your the Quran with your voice. So we haven't beautified it. We're just whipping through it like it's something that you're supposed to be rushing through. Not at all. Take your your time. Always remember it's quality that comes first. Read whatever Quran you can, half a Jews, one Jews, two or three Jews. The way you recite should be melodious between you and Allah. Because on the day of judgment, you will be told to recite the Quran if you've memorized some of it. And you will only be able to read the way you were reading in this dunya. So if you were reading in the dunya in a way that was embarrassing, you're going to be embarrassed in the hereafter too. And if you read melodiously on that day between you and Allah, you'll be reading melodiously because that's what you used to do in the world. That's on the day of judgment. My brothers and sisters, a few more nights remaining. Let's not waste this night. A night that is more valuable than 1000 months. That's 83 odd years minimum. Don't do the wrong thing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us every goodness. Mm -hmm.